Hey, and welcome to part two of Mountain Blade Warband. I'm your host, Amila, and we're kicking up where we left off, just outside of Praven, having failed a lot last part, but having finally gotten our feet on the ground. I'm going to visit the tavern again, not to see that merchant dude we were dealing with last time, but to see if there's anyone like this fella, a ransom broker. You may remember that I actually have a prisoner. This bastard. Any prisoners I get, I can sell to ransom brokers. It's a great way to make money. However, carrying a prisoner around is just a annoying. Now, here's a farmer, and he's got a quest for me. My lord, you look like a man of the sword and someone who could help us. Will you hear my plea? What's the matter, my good man? And there's brigands in his town. I'm going to help him. And his village is jism. Jism. That's right, folks. We are going to liberate Jism. Now, this is the armor merchant. Anything in shops is arranged for most expensive, so 14,000 dinars, to least expensive, 5 dinars. What I really want right now would be something on sale from the arms merchant. Just a shield, any sort of shield. It doesn't need to be good, it just needs to be cheap. Which is why I'm going to take a plain round shield, replace my stones. I'm actually going to sell off a lot of the stuff I'm holding right now because most of this is crap. Crap, 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 crap. I hold the control key and I click and I sell everything. Everything I sell goes towards the... Oh, no, no, I won't sell everything because his inventory is full. So I'm going to leave and sell it to this guy. So you'll notice that I actually lost money in that transaction. That's because I bought the shield, which turned out to be more expensive than everything I sold combined. Because of all of that crap was worth like one or two dinars. Now let's look around this map for Jism. There it is. And let's get. But now my character has a shield, which will actually make a good difference to sword fighting. Because with a one-handed sword, you want a shield to absorb those blows. And essentially a shield will let me retaliate faster when I'm defending myself and give me better counterattacks because I'm not using the sword to block. Meaning I can swing and block. Yay! So me and my six chums are riding on to Jism. Let's just check my party. Ooh, a few of them are able to upgrade because I have that little plus there. So I pay them ten dinars and they all become better soldiers who cost me just a bit more, four dinars a week where these guys cost me one dinar a week. So we go into Jism, Jism, and attack the bandits. There's 13 bandits, I have seven dudes. Don't think that my wonderful hail of fail is gonna finish anytime soon, guys. And a few of them are mounted, that's even more horrifying for me. And oh yes, what do we love, guys? Mounted, good god, will you guys get out of my way? Your, your own troops are just so frustrating. They'll just, they'll be charging forward and in your way. So th this is what a large scale battle will be like. Just more people. So far I have, okay, one, dot, one of my dudes has been knocked out. That's okay. And we're doing pretty good here. I'm not hurt too badly. Yes, my horse can just run over dudes and, you know, hurt them. Which is, it, it doesn't do much damage, but since guys will trip over and they're unable to swing their sword and they'll be on the ground, they'll take more damage and they'll be less able to defend themselves and they won't be able to attack. It's just useful to have your horse charge over dudes just like that. And I'm going to run off before I die again. You, you will never die no matter what happens. You'll just be knocked out and... You can be taken prisoner and dragged around a few days before escaping, but you'll never, you know, lose the game, as it were. Well, you can make it damn near impossible to continue. Ha! Suffer! And since we won, all oh, my dudes cheer for me! Now I'm going to press tab. Alright, so f I didn't lose anyone, but five farmers died and six were wounded. Six bandits were wounded, seven killed. Wounded enemies are awesome. Now here's, here's an interesting thing, I've driven bandits out of this village, they don't have much money, I can take the money they offer me as a thank you for dealing with all those bandits, or I can let them keep all their money, and that means that they'll like me a lot, and whenever I go to their town, they will let me take up, you know, hundreds, well, like 
four or five recruits. So I'm actually going to refuse their money, and so they're acceptive of me. They're plus eight. That's quite good. And suddenly, 12 men in this village are happy for me to join them. Now, I need more food. Every unit in your army will eat one thing of any random particular food each day. So I'm going to go ahead and take this bread. The more food you, the more different sorts of food you have, the more happy your villagers will be. Your, your army will be, rather, because they're not being fed, you know, crap all the time. So, with that quest done, I'm going to ride along in this direction and then upgrade my character. I actually leveled up in that battle. Isn't that wonderful? All my stats are at plus right, 9 right now, so I'm going to add to Charisma so that that will be. Next level up, I'll do it again. And from there, I'll start getting funky with my level up stats. One-handed weapon experience all the way, baby. Now, every level up, you'll get one attribute point one skill point, and five proficiency points. Or ten? Yeah, ten proficiency points. I lied. It's okay, I told you the truth in the end. If you put a point in agility, you'll get another five proficiency points. If you put a point in intelligence, you'll get another skill points. Most of the time, my character will have like ten of everything, and then fifty intelligence. Just as much intelligence as I can get, because attribute points are awesome. So, with my one skill point, I am going to increase my pathfinding. It sucks when you are chasing an enemy across the overworld map and your army is just too slow. For example, oh shit, this Sea Raiders, shit, shit cunt. Alright, let's do it. Time to show you some orders. I am a troop commander. I'm telling my troops right now to hold the ground we're standing on. So that means they're all going to wait. I shift to look forward, and I can't see the Sea Raiders. So I don't have any archers or mounted men yet. So there's nothing I can really do with really fancy commands. You can actually break your army up into infantry, mounted, and archery divisions and give each division separate commands. But with those guys, I'm just going to have them wait there until the Sea Raiders get closer. And now... Well, not yet. But soon, they're going to charge, because charging downhill means you've got more speed, and damage in this game is based on momentum. So more speed is a good thing. Now men, charge! Sea Raiders are a random enemy group, they're kind of annoying. Ah, oh, cunts. Save my face! Crossbows! They've, they've got pluses and minuses against, you know, stuff. Arrows. I kind of prefer crossbows because crossbows are much more accurate and you don't need to invest as much in your levels for them. Oh god, my guys aren't doing very well. I really don't want to lose this battle. I really don't want to lose. Seriously, I don't want to lose. Uh, okay, so there's, you know, about even numbers of us and them. Oh god, you're getting in my way again. It's so not cool. I need to fight. Okay, so there's now nowhere near even numbers of us and them. Flee! Flee! Retreat! And I, I was taken prisoner anyway? Oh god. I'm doing so badly. I, I make no illusions to being good at this game. So, these guys have all of my army. Fair chunk of my stuff. And they'll chase me when they realize I've escaped. So, what to do when the chips are down? Go to Suno! I want to stay in the kingdom of Swadia because Swadian people, when they level up, are quite good. I could get involved. Oh god! Oh god! Run! 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 Don't get involved! I could try and help, I think. Oh, no, I'm not allowed to get involved unless I'm on either side. Oh well. As you can see, different groups. If you can have a battle where, you know, this. 
one army on either side, and then an army from one side can join the battle. That's quite terrifying when it happens to you, because it suddenly means you're badly outnumbered. Alright, I'm going to go to the tavern, see if there's anyone useful around here. Like, level it. Oh god, it's this cunt. That can, I, I could make him join my group, but he's a stuck-up bitch. I'd much rather have Dashiva join my group. She's been abused most her life. And then... Joins your army, and she joins for free. So she's the best kind of ally. The free kind. Oh, they took my bolts my crossbow? That is such bad form. Alright, well, I guess I'll just have to deal without it. I sold my crossbow for a whole four dinars. <laughs> and now that there's two of us in my group, me and that lady... I'm going to go. Wait, wait, what? Suno, Suno doesn't have an arena. Oh no, wait, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm going to go to the arena. I can actually earn money here. You may remember there was a tournament. Whenever there's not a tournament, you can go into an arena and just join a melee. It, it it's nowhere near as profitable or as useful as a tournament can be, but you get money for every group of dudes you kill, or knock out. Unfortunately, in melees, the longer you last, the more... <sighs> this is happening. The, you'll kill, you'll notice that there have been two guys who I really should have beaten, and someone else just ran in and knocked out my kill. And the further you last in one of these, the more likely enemies are to aim at you. Since you'll be taking wounds, it's actually really difficult to win because, you know, by the end of it, you'll have four or five guys just aiming at you. And, you know, this... I'm not meant to be doing this at this level, really. The only reason I'm surviving is because I keep blocking. <laughs> and you can, you know, your blocks will only block attacks from one direction and they take some time to block so if you've got more than one dude attacking you 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 just can't avoid all their shots yeah in a few levels I should be able to knock these guys out with one swing and that makes it a lot easier oh. it Again, this is one of those things I really hope you enjoy seeing because every time I'm down on money just to an arena and I wail on some poor homeless people for a while. Yeah, I need to... I want to do at least ten because that means I'll get more money than I would with just nine. I think it goes... If you knock out one guy, you get a small amount. Five guys, a small amount. Ten guys, a small amount. Um, Fifteen... No, oh no, twenty guys. A small amount. And then if you not... If you win, if you're the last one conscious, you get a slightly larger amount. It sucks that some of them get bows and arrows. It's probably not the best weapon for you to start with, but I still get jealous when they get bows and arrows, and I don't. Yeah. You learn how to... You may remember weapon mastery. I'm learning how to fight with a pole arm by doing it. My proficiency is increasing, which means I'm just better at it. Um, what I'm going to probably do once I deal with you. No, serious. Oh no, they're both. And you. I'll deal with you too. Seriously, just be dealt with already. Thank you. Damn it. Yep, I just t took that sword and shield off one of the guys who's already been knocked out. Um, a two-handed sword is a pretty useful weapon in this, but I prefer sword and shield because faster reactions. Two-handed swords will do, like mostly do one-hit knockouts, but they'll be much harder to block with as well. So in a situation like this, where we've got, you know, three guys fighting all at once, it's quite difficult. Alright, so I'm at the halfway point. Oh, you can't! You can't move from behind, really? And they're both aiming at me, of course. No. No, oh, I went down. And see, that third guy charged in to attack me as well. There was no way I could deal with that. Now, I talked to the tournament master, and for knocking out 17 people, 25 dinars. Now, I'm going to find out. Tournaments, Lusa, Nara, and Amherd. If any of them are nearby, I might 
you know, show you how to really fight in a tournament. Map, zoom out, Velusa. All right, let's do it. Hell, I got nothing else to do. I only got this one woman on my party. We're traveling fast because we're traveling light. Um, normal people in your party, you, the Swadian recruits and stuff, are fairly, you know, generic. I can't do anything with them other than upgrade them and bring them into battle. Heroes like Deshiva, I can give items, I can change their inventory, I can level them up like I do. They're much more interesting to use. Um, however, since they have personalities, sometimes those personalities will clash, and I really don't want to fight those 16 dudes. Alright, place a bet on myself. 100 dinars in this bet. I really don't want to lose that 100 dinars. I just saw an arrow. So this guy has got an, a bow and arrow. Whenever you start with a bow and arrow, you'll also start with a dagger. And he's obviously decided that the best way for him to fight is to charge in with the dagger. Since random NPCs, uh, you know, have their stats built, so that they'll have, you know, good, this, bad, that, and stuff. If they get two items, and they start with one good, and one bad. They'll use the whichever one they have better skills in, regardless of how useful they would be. So, I won that round, I'm going to place another bet. I'm going to keep placing bets until I run out of money. I really don't want to lose this. So, I've just gotten a crossbow, yeah! So, you get di divvied up into teams in tournaments, and you fight with your team, and everyone on the team that wins, whether or not they actually did anything useful, goes to the next round. For example, right now, I am being a sack of potatoes. However, that said, two yellow dudes did all the work. My team did work. I didn't. I get carried through to the next round. When I'm a high level, I'll be the one doing all the work while my friends just cark it. Alright, so now I've got the sword and shield. No, the bow and arrow and dagger. I am not just going to run around like a lump with a dagger. It does mean I can't block though, so... Then again, I don't think you can with a dagger. Okay, now I'm going to get on his horse. And try to escape. This horse is so dead. Okay, um... Now we see another problem with arrows. Archery from a horse is a really difficult thing. Um, the faster you're moving, the worse your aim is thrown off by it. And the worse you'll do. Now I have four green dudes, very low health horse, and hardly high health myself to deal with all this. What I'm going to try to do is gallop past all this stuff and pick up a weapon. You'll see I picked up a shield, and if I can just get a sword, I might have a chance. Since most of their team are, in fact, archers. If I run straight into a wall, though, my horse will rear up. It won't take any damage, but it'll stop moving. Which, as you might imagine, means they will catch me. Oh, damn it. Why am I back to the... Come on, hit one of them, Jesus. Alright, I picked up a bow. Awesome. Alright, I charged him for one damage. Okay, I really want to avoid the one on the force and those archers. Oh, give me the whole sword. Not the dagger, the... Oh, are you kidding me? Now I don't even have a bow. Oh, he's got a sword. That'll be much easier to get. <laughs> Once again, I'm going to go over my self-imposed 20-minute limit in an attempt to show you the entirety of this tournament, assuming I survive this round. You can actually get... Yes! Buffed through if you do well. I'm not sure what doing well actually means, though, so... No. I would much rather just knock them all out. Ok, 
Okay, um... Now that I've physically attacked them all, they sh This guy. This guy. Screw this guy. And of course, he'll block my swipe, meaning that was not fun. Oh, shit! Cunt! Bastard face! <sighs> oh, I've been eliminated. Lame! How much money do I have now? 29 dinars. Thanks for watching! See you later.